They're back again. Mm-hmm. This should be a good little one still. So we got to my girl. She sent me this one. Um, it's from one of them Instagram blog pages, them officially urban. She sent it to me via DM. I opened it up. I read it. Then I sent her back a DM saying, JY's TV reaction video on the horizon. And she just burst out laughing. And that. So this should be a good one. Basically, a guy offered to take a girl out on a first date. But because the date wasn't to her standard, your royal highness, she declined. Let's get into it. Bro. So I'm going to read it. So obviously, I don't know how this guy got this girl's number. Maybe he drew on her old side. You know, maybe he had the balls and the courage to go up to her and get me, get the number and that. But the way this guy texts and messages and that, I don't think he's that guy. I reckon he probably got the number over Instagram or online or some sort of dating website. Or whatever. Anyway, so he starts it off. He kicks it off by saying, hey, this is Vance or Vance. I don't fucking know. Why the fuck you using a smiley face emoji, blood? You're a grown ass man, blood. Anyway, she responds by saying hi. Then he responds by saying, hope you've had a good day. I'm excited for tomorrow. I can pick you up. But if you aren't that comfortable, if you aren't comfortable with that, we can just meet there. I don't know why, but I'm feeling like to get some ice cream in this hot weather, in it, yeah? Brother, you need to stop all this hot, um, sweating emoji, LOLs and that, blood. stop all that nonsense and that. So the guy has basically just offered to get the girl um, go for ice cream and that. She's responded saying, sorry if this may come off as rude. But I don't do ice cream dates. Oof! I'm a 26-year-old woman. And a date like that seems like an absolute bare minimum for me. <laughs> Meeting up would be a waste of both of our times. Since we both probably don't have the same vibe. I know what the fuck that vibe is, blood. Best wishes, you know. How dish you... She's talking to him like she's his grandma, you know. Best wishes, you know. So he's just responding saying, cool. And you know what? That's the right way to respond. So a man would be like, who do you think you are? <laughs> he probably was thinking that, but you know what? Like he responded, keep it cool, man. Cool, man. So anyway, this has uh, kicked up a little storm. Get me on Twitter and Instagram or whatever, really. People are responding to it. So I'm just going to go through the responses of that and give my take. So one chick called Desiree's responded to it. I feel so bad for men. These, get me, let's, let's, let's be nice, yeah? Let's not say the B word today. These, yeah, act so corny and entitled. You damn right they do. Whole time they don't get shit, not even a dinner from nobody. Ain't shit wrong with an ice cream date. You damn right, there's nothing wrong with going out for an ice cream date. Something different. Why, why, why has it always got to be dinner? Why can't it be going, I don't know, for a walk in the park? Why can't it be, you know what I'm saying? Something just, you get me something light. I've, I've done motorbike dates with gyal. Yeah, I picked up a gyal, get me go for a ride, didn't it? Now, obviously, other man ain't got the luxury of doing it because they're not bike riders and that. But, but I mix it up, man. Why can't you just go to Starbucks for a day? I've done that before. But I didn't get to smash the girl on that day, but I did the next time. So I, I've been to a pub with a gyal. You know what I'm saying? You don't always have to be flipping dinner and that. Let's get on to the next response. This next team's responded by saying, why would a 26-year-old grown woman want to go on an ice cream date? Especially if it's the first date. Like, she's not a teenager. Nothing wrong with her wanting that. Y'all need to be so for real. Now, I get it. Now I know why the guy's name was Vance or Vance, whatever the fuck he wants to call himself and that. These people are American. But um, yeah, you just got some gal out here. You are entitled. I made a video about this a very long time ago. There's certain girls that I would not date, blood. There's certain types of girls out here. They expect on their first date to be taken to a flashy restaurant. You know, like a, a high-end restaurant like Lockham, Gaucho's, uh, Hakasan or whatever. Not me, fam. Not me. There's certain gal out here, if you ain't taking them to the littest place, 
they ain't interested that's cool I'm not I don't feel like I need to be taking a girl to a fancy high-end restaurant on the first date because for me if a girl demands a man take her to a flashy high-end restaurant on a first date that means really and truly she don't care about going on the date with you it's not about you it's more about what she can get from this experience so yeah there's certain girls i wouldn't be entitled to date because my dates are too cheap that's cool there's method behind the madness there's a reason why man would keep the dates cheap like i'll explain later so this next guy is called swipe god he says people need to realize a first date is about getting to know each other he dodged a bullet honestly he's damn right can you imagine yeah? if you try to offer a girl to go for an ice cream or a walk in the park or a starbucks or costa coffee or whatever in it yeah she's turning that down because she feels like her highness needs better treatment her highness needs a better date her highness needs a better experience on the second date she wants her lv bag on the third day, <laughs> you need to take the motherfucker to Bali, blood. So, yeah, could you just imagine what this girl would be like in the future? All these high demands and that. Blood, what's wrong with going to a, yeah, I mean, just a little light place on the first day just to get to... Anyway. And this next chick's basically just agreeing, like, you can't eat ice cream at 26? I hate you hoes. <laughs> anyway, let me take it back to the beginning. Let me tell you something. The reason why I would never, knowing what I know about Gal right now, fam, what I've learned, fam, from YouTube, my own experience, watching and analyzing other people and that. Do you know why I would never recommend taking a girl out on a first date before you smash to an expensive restaurant? You know, one of the number one reasons why I'd never do that is because typically. A lot of girls, especially if you meet them on a dating app as well, especially if you meet them on a dating app, they're just on a break from their boyfriend, blood. So they just want to go out on a date with a guy just to take their mind off their ex that they're going to get back with in two, three months' time. Blood. This is why, if you go on them dating apps and that, you might match with girls, might have an okay conversation, might exchange numbers. Do you know why you can't get those girls out on a date? Do you know why? Even if you have a good conversation with a girl, or reasonable exchange with a girl on a Tinder dating app or whatever, really. The reason why you can't get their number, and if you do, you can't get them out on a date, it's because they want to break from their boyfriend. Do like. you know how much girls I know? Plenty of girls. They break up from their boyfriend straight on a dating app. With no intentions of meeting up with no one, no intentions of going nowhere, no intentions of sleeping with no one. They're just on there because they're on a break from their boyfriend and they want some other male attention, blood. And you are going to go and spend your £150 at these expensive restaurants? You must be crazy, blood. Never, never. I've been to like decent restaurants with my girl, like, you know, like on the fancy scale of, yeah, or the spectrum and that. I still ain't spent 150 pounds. So there's no way, blood, man will be spending 150 pounds, 200 pounds on a first date with a girl. When there's a chance that she could just curb me, when there's a chance I might tell her to put her phone away whilst we're on a fucking date and have to walk away from her blood club. Nah, 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 nah. That's too much investment, blood. Yeah, I see you at the pub. I, I see you at Tinsel Town. Tinsel Town's where I took my girl on a first date, blood. You see, when a girl truly wants to get to know you, she'll meet you anywhere. I've had, I mean, I wouldn't call it a first date, but you could call a first date her coming to meet you somewhere, rendezvousing at a location, and you and her talking in a car, blood. You, I mean, I wouldn't call that a first date, but you could call that a first meet up. I've had it before. Girls sitting in my car in my passenger seat. Saying, listen, I can sit here all day and listen to you talk. Cause you know what I mean? <laughs> man got a gift in a gab. Yeah? yeah, man got bars in it. Yeah, I know how to hold a good conversation and that. That's why at this workplace, man get along with all the tenants and that. They tell me, usually, when the trades people come over to do the gas or plaster or whatever, I just leave them to it. You're the first person I've actually stood up and had a decent conversation with. Trust me, the conversations I had with the tenants, you would not believe, blood. Yeah, we've gone everywhere. 
with these conversations. We've been to the moon. We've been to the sun, the sun. Yeah, we've been everywhere with these conversations. And that. People, I know how to talk. People know how to open up to me. I've had girls tell me that they've been violated by a man. And they kept the youth, blood. I'm a total stranger. They don't even know my name, blood. And they're telling me their whole life story, blood. So, yeah, man, you, you don't need to take girls out on an expensive date, blood. I did before. Meet a girl. Obviously, this is not going to be every time, obviously. Link up with a girl. So I got a girl's, um, yeah, match with a girl on Tinder and that, boom. Took her to a pub around the corner and that. You know what I'm saying, innit? Yeah, go back to my yard and that. Bro, you don't need to do these expensive dates, bro. You don't. The, the amount of times, yeah, I've been able to land a thing on, on the first date. Yeah? I've never taken a girl to an expensive restaurant. Never. So, yeah, when I first met my girl, we went to Tinsel Town. Yeah, we went to Tinsel Town. The next day, yeah, I took her to a decent restaurant and that. But, yeah, the first day does not need to be no expensive restaurant, bro. Yeah, it's, it's all about the experience that you provide with you as a person, your charisma and that. You think about it this way. Do you think if her favourite... This, this is how you know, yeah, you don't need to take out a girl on, on, on a first, uh, to a nice restaurant on the first date. Do you think if her favourite celebrity crush, I don't know Drake, I don't know Chris Brown, I don't know Leonardo DiCaprio, I don't know whoever her favourite celebrity crush is, Denzel fucking watch I don't fucking know. Do you think if he slid in her DMs, do you think if he said, yeah, let's go out to Starbucks, Costa Coffee, or walk in the fucking park, blood, do you think she would say no, blood? When a girl truly wants to get to know you, yeah, she don't mind where you take her, blood. Now, obviously, no girl wants to be taken to some dirty ass Dixie fried chicken and chip shop and that, but to a little ice cream parlor where the place is nice and neat, why not? Obviously, if they had like a high-end chicken and chip shop, you know, like a high-end chicken and chip shop, then cool. I mean, no girls really want to be... I mean, Nando's is... It's not It's not because, oh, it, it's a cheap place. It's because it's Nando's. It's so the go-to, in it? Like, I would never recommend taking a girl to Nando's and that because it's just the go-to. I mean, that that, that has been done a thousand times. And that. No, I don't think no one girl wants to go to Nando's on the first date. <laughs> Especially for like Valentine's Day, nah, man. Yeah, you need to uh, <laughs> shop about more, man. There's better places to take a girl on a first date. But that's the main reason why I would not be taking out no girl on a first date because they are usually on a break from their boyfriend. So it's only a matter of time before they go to your fucking ass. It's ridiculous. Do you know what? The maddest thing is, these girls want to live the high life. They want a life of luxury. They want a high-end experience. They want to go to Gauchos. They want to go to Tarshis, Lockham, Novako, wherever these places are called, blood, for a first date, blood. But they are living in a fucking council house, blood. They are at the bottom of the social economic scale. Who the fuck do you think you are, blood? To demand to go to Gauchos and all these high-end places, blood. You're still paying rent, fam. You're, you're, you're in a council house, blood. Who do you think you are, blood? There's nothing wrong with going to somewhere cheap, blood. Yeah? On a first date, bro. You see, that's the thing. If you offer to take a girl out to Tinseltown for a first date, and she don't want to go there because she wants to go to Gauchos and that, well, then you know she don't really want to go to meet you. She wants to go there for the experience, and you're going to be the dummy to pay for it. And another reason why you don't want to take a girl out to an expensive restaurant for our first date. You might not like the girl, blood. Yeah, let's say you did meet her on a date, you know. She might not look like her pictures. But let's say you met her out on the roadside or through a friend of a friend. You met her in person beforehand, like whatever, really. exchange numbers, whatever, really. you met her at a club, whatever. You might not like her personality, blood. She might not be a cool person to be around, blood. So you're going to go and take her to the bank? Pick up the bank. That's in Tottenham. I took my girl there. Funny enough, obviously it wasn't our first date or nothing, but, I mean, this was like last year or something, I took her to the bank and that, and we was looking through the menu, and basically there's this thing called, oh, is it Wagyu gold or Wagyu beef, something? Anyway, it comes with a piece of gold that's edible and that. You know, there was a piece of beef there that cost like 120 baht. I said, you know, there is some guy 
who has been ta he's taking a girl to this restaurant and the girl said i want that piece and thought no way to make her man spend 120 pounds on a fucking piece of steak now they were saying to me, I want to be able to sleep at night. But she said she wouldn't do it. But like, imagine she was like, if I did that, I don't think I'll be able to sleep at night. But you'd have to have no conscience to make, because there's certain men, but you know what? That's your own fault. You're too weak anyway. You're too weak anyway. Certain man, they wouldn't know how to say no. Like, this brother here, this Vance or Vance guy or whatever, if the girl never shut it down and said, I don't want to go there, you never know. Maybe he would have changed his tune or he would have adjusted the date. Oh, okay. Ice cream date's not good good enough for you, your royal highness. So, all right, we will go to Gauchos or Novaco or whatever, innit? Fuck that. Nah, you know what, yeah? Like them man, they say on them, them dating podcasts and them, uh, dating coaches and that. Never let the girl dictate where you're going to go to next or where the date is and that. I've heard girls tell me that... If a guy asks her, where do you want to go for a first date? She will tell him, forget it. Women want to be led. Yeah. So never let a girl dictate in that. I don't know if he he truly just said, all right, take it or leave it kind of thing. She cancelled the date. So I don't know. You never know. Maybe she might have said, oh, I don't want to go here. I want to go there. Yeah. He might have. Yeah, he might have caved in that. No, 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 no. He don't want to do that. But, um, yeah, man, these girls out here will be taking a fucking piss, blood. But that's it for today, man. Stay wise. Done, though. Keep them dates, rascal. Cheap, blood.